Oh. Hello, Prince. <laughs> I didn't know I was here. Oh, it's been a while since I played Genshin. On stream, that is. This is cool. I love the cats so much, they're so cute. I'm just gonna sit and stare at me. That's okay. Is there any other- oh, there's this one. Oh, that is cat heaven. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, he does move. Okay. What do I have to do? Oh, actually, I think- hang on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just a match limitation. Oh, all I have to do is buy that? What is this? Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Prince. Can I purchase an invitation? Uh, I don't think it's. Oh, here. Oh. Which one should I choose? So many options. Two of them are locked. Okay. Oh, who do I invite? Hmm. Yeah. Who's my partner level? Oh yeah. I'm good, buddy. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, I can't. I can't get them. Eula, Beto, Key, Barbara. Hmm. Hmm. My is already highlighted. Huh. I want to do Ganyu. I've seen- I've- I've played against her card, and her card seems awesome. Oh, I already had one. I didn't even know that. Sure. Thankfully, I'm off the clock right now. No, I haven't actually seen her in a while. Uh... Oh yeah, I got him. I'll just leave him for right now. I think I got the card though. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? I rarely use this. That's fine. Not both of these. Sure. Thankfully, I'm off the clock right now. Okay. Oh, she's got Jean. I don't think I'll... I'll save that one. But I don't think I'll need that one. Immediately. I'll just switch that one. Ah, oh, okay. Um... Contamination must be washed away! Oh, well, that wasn't any better. God damn it. 
just immediately. Uh, hang on. I, uh, I wanted to adjust the sound, but I'll just do that after. Uh, but I wanted to summon something right off the bat. do either of them, I have the same. Damn. Let's finish this Sweet. swiftly. Oh, what does that one do? I don't think I have the Jade Chamber. I didn't. Okay. Now you want to give me the water. Now you want to give me the hydro. Gee, thanks. <laughs> God damn it. Access denied. That's actually really helpful. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. Um. Hmm. Let's just do that. Actually, what does this one do? These are act. I'm gonna put that. Oh, but then I won't be able to switch. You know what? I'll just go ahead and play that. Taking that. Yeah. I was gonna switch, but eh. oh man, I don't have enough for that. Um, yeah. Okay. Contamination must be washed away. Okay. Yeah, give me those. Mirror the myriad. I like all the summons.
Oh damn. Not more. What does this guy do again? Incoming! Ah. Oh god damn it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Two of those. Sweet. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. That's. Hmm. This was him. Or him. Oh, I can't see their attacks. If they're not on. But... Let's go gather some samples. One with the force. Okay, nice. And then that might actually get rid of that card. Yep. No. Nice. Sweet. Oh, I must not good. have been thinking clearly. Please don't do a lot. For Rex Lapis! I'm scared. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's this that does. Get him out. Oh, actually, <laughs> let's nip that in the butt. <gasps> nice. My contract, my fault for getting careless. Oh, look on you. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Sweet. Have zoned out. I didn't mean to do that. I like her hair. Her head just keeps turning towards me. The way her head just whips around. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's good. yep. Nice. I didn't complete air stuff. Oh, gotta um.
Oh, that's another the same one. Oh, only one more to do. Ooh, okay. Oh, two days. No way to speed it up. Did I complete all of her? Genius invocation. Uh. Oh, it doesn't show me. Please take care. Oh wait, no, it did say complete on that thing, so I guess I probably did. What is that? What do I have marked? I didn't even notice that. Oh, adventuring. I'll do this commission first. Her. Oh, he's just on the other side. Okay. Oh, wait. That's not the... Okay. It mixed up between the two. It's, uh, over here, I think it was. Or is it the other way? Nope. Okay. It is this way. <laughs> Down here. have stuff. Sweet, okay. Let's... Oh, it... It deactivated. Um... I'm sure it's on here. Yep, there we go. I don't even know, what exactly am I doing? It'll probably say. Ooh, actually, hang on. I may need to. Turn this down for the fights. Mm. I'll just look at six. It'll be fine. Probably. Oh, okay, yep, it's... What 
is it? Oh wow, lots of stuff. You know what? Let's just try it with the team I have. I'm always lower than the recommended level. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Hopefully. Oh wow, it's been a while. Whoa. It's been a while since I've been in one of these. Hello. I guess that worked well enough. trying to look at its face. It's so cute. Okay. This is going pretty good. Oh, this thing. Okay, I remember this. Did I have to kill them? I don't remember. If I just like couldn't pass without doing it or something.
And then in here? Oh, okay. Maybe this is like the final showdown, if I remember correctly. Let me leave you first. You're the last one, buddy. gonna come back up. It's scaring me. Okay. Please don't shoot that. Ah, no! Okay, Stay I'm a person. Nice and spicy! Rain outlines your How much further. Oh, that was not the final showdown. Okay.
shit. like the weird crackling sound that much. No, not my thing. Sounds like fire, but not. Nice. Hmm. Oh. Burning the grass. What do I have in here? Oh, this thing. Okay. Astra Abyssosk. this thing.
Oh, it's a flying thing. Whee. Uh, well, that didn't really... Was I too close to it? I'm pretty sure those were supposed to push me forward, but they did not. Make my escape. I did not look where I was going. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to save that. Yeah. It's it's up there, isn't it? I don't even know who the fuck is firing at me. Jeez. I can't get up there. She's just someone taller. How how tall is that? Okay, I can get up here. Mm. Well, I have 33 seconds. They work there at the end. Time to act. Oh, Don Winery. Man, this place just looks so nice. Oh, see the mountain. That's cool. right there. Oh. Nope, it's gone. Oh my god, this house is gorgeous. What I would give to live here. Ooh, so nice. Okay. that was right there. Ooh. Snatch! Do I have anything to give to the statue? I have one. <laughs> one. Oh, I didn't mean to click it again. Oh. Did I see another... I did. No. I... Oh. It disappeared from existence. God damn it. Is it these guys over here? I think it might be. Such a weird noise. Ooh. Let's do this. Just because I'm here. Oh, that 
scared me. Ah! I keep not seeing them. Way right, kind of. Yeah. Ah, oh, that I have. I just do not see things that are not right in front of me. Nope. I have no peripheral vision. Is that it? No, okay. Like, that kind of looks funny. It does. Okay, so it's up. Up we go. Oh, it's taking down the towers, isn't it? in the middle of a battle. 
push him off. Woo! Pick up their remains. Uh, that is a mushroom. Um, I think that's all. Kinda looks like it, yeah. And there's those guys. Astra Abyssosk. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Oh, yes. Finally. My love. Uh, how many? Whoa. That was a lot of voices at one time. Um. What am I at now? Ah! It was like 60, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, I was right. Um, hmm. <gasps> Wait, why isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> Hi. Confused, why isn't it showing players? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, why was that a hoff? Just come down here. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> I don't remember this. I'm gonna get from her. You fight me. switch. I'll switch this one. Oh, wait, shit, I didn't mean to keep that one on. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! I don't check things. Oh, I've already got him. Huh. Let's go gather some samples. Alright. Oh my god. That was awful. Please. Uh, God damn it. Ugh. I'm going to uh, switch this out. So 
probably won't use that during the first round. One with the force. No escape. Mm. There is no escape. Yeah, we copied each other. In the image of the wilderness. Well, I can't do anything. Free some people right now. Let's finish this swiftly. Still kind of bad since I'm on him. Uh... Attack! Oh, scary. Let's go gather some samples. Okay. <laughs> Can't see? What you owe must one day oh. be paid. Hmm. No excuse <sighs> for slacking! Okay. Duo. That should do something, though. Nice. Just let me get some dendro and I will be set. God damn it, I. Ugh. Eh, not home though. I can trade some cards, it's fine. Oh. Actually, I don't have to. Never mind. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. My work <sighs> finished. Ooh. Ooh, I, I 
have him, don't I? Yeah. Okay, I need to get more primos. How to get more primos? Hmm. Now oh, wait a second. Oh, I always do this. That kind of makes sense. Ooh, I actually want to do these. Yes. Okay, let's see. does look like she's jumping on a keyboard. That's so cute. Yeah, that's adorable. Everyone hold hands! Make yourselves at home! Ready, steady, go! This way through the little... Whoa, I was just inside of him. Sorry, buddy, I sort of phased into you there. Not my intention. Alright. Pretty cool. Vision hunt decree. I already did that quest. Long time ago. Nope, not try. I always end up clicking that. I'm like, whoopsie. I do want to do that event though. Sweet. Ten. And four. Those are four. Mm 
Let's go to the special spot. Ooh, oh god, I always forget which fucking mountain it is. Uh, it's this one, right? The one with the big pool? Yeah, it's the one with the big pool. Lake. I don't know. God, I just call it the big pool. <sighs> with the fish in it, and the cool red trees. I love it when Autumn... Chow. Don't freak me out like that. Jesus. God, it's even creepier at night. The lore is sad, but the but the sound is creepy. Wee. Let me just uh, sit down. Jeez. Okay. What is it? Is it still this thing? It's still this thing. Oh, but I just don't care. Okay. Shall we... Shall we do these first? Dude, I had really good luck. Uh... A couple days ago, I had... I had three pulls for the standard banner and i was just trying to get a what was it called uh the favonius lance i have literally all of the other favonius weapons i have three of um of the claymores whatever they're called i was just trying to get a favonius lance for my yow yow and i ended up getting tainari i was like holy shit but i didn't get a lance though but, oh damn can you turn purple for me? I still want the lance. Pretty please? No? Okay. Ruin my dream so I don't get... Okay. Well, those are still three characters I don't have. But I want Nahida. I beg of you. Damn it! Alright, who is it? God, I have so many of those. Ooh. An oval. Okay. I think I can. Buy one of these. Oh, I can buy two. Exchange. Wait a second, can I get that? Oh no, it's the royal. I got it mixed up. The royal. Okay, got two. Another one. Can I have a different one? Ooh, nice! There's 75, aren't they? Yeah, I'm three off. Okay. That's cool. <gasps> well... Oh, I'm just trying to look at her. Oh, her hair is cool. say anything? No. Oh. Hi, I'm Layla, a Ritawa student. Uh, hmm? Oh, sorry, I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm a... Cool. The night is cold. Not now. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, is that it's got like tattoos? That's cool. Oh, hey there. I'm Kuki Shinobu, deputy leader of the she, Arataki. She just sounds cool. We offer a wide range of services, including but not limited to transport and logistics, security, home repair, and musical performances. Please feel free to contact me if you need anything. Here's my card. Our bond is strong. Dissipate. Cool. Okay. Oh, this is story class. Okay. Let's see. Uh, events. Um. It's probably it has nine days. Okay. Nice one, dude. Awesome. <laughs> but a story. Okay, whoa. I'm just right on the edge. Okay. Um, wee. Huh. Okie dokie. Hello there. Now, I do not know what the hell is going on. Ha! Huh. Traveler! You've returned. Yep. Yep! We're back! Uh, have you seen Kale by No idea what I returned from, though. Oh. Kale? Yes. I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh. Okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow, then. Oh my god. Wait, how do I know what time it is? What time is it? I mean, I could just speed up time. But I want to look around. Oh, there are birds. Oh. Hello. Elazar is a truly troublesome illness. What's going on in here? Yoo-hoo! Anyone home? Oh, oh, those are nice. Oh, I can sit. It's my house now. Yeah, oh! She like, she puts her hands together. That's so cute! Oh, but she's kicking her feet. That is adorable. Okay. Somebody down there. Ooh, there is a chest. I want it. Get a boar. Got a mushroom on it. You get back here. I want to eat you. No! <laughs> he drops a mushroom. Oh, that's great. Let's go to someone taller. I was like, am I just gonna run through the water? Can I do that? I don't know. What's going on here? Story new. Cool. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, whatever. You know, how do I get this? Oh. It's 
sweet. Okay, wow. The waterfall's really loud. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, hello. Level up material. What's underneath here? Just keep swimming. What's that? It's, is that just a random piece of- Yep, it's a random piece of meat. Okay. Nothing suspicious about that. <gasps> it had a baby! No! Oh, I'm such a piece of shit! Oh, but look at it. Oh, oh, I can't see it anymore. Oh, no. Oh, oh there's another one. Oh my god, it's so cute. I killed their parent. Oh, look at them. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. Don't you even think about it. Yeah, yeah. It's so cute! Oh my god. I want a plush of that, please. Right now. Fish. Fish. Catch with bare hands. Okay. Submit. It's over here. Ooh. Huh? Boing. Oh, another boing. Oh, oh I, I jumped right off. Boing. Oh my god, I keep jumping up. Okay, I gotta jump onto it. Boing. Let's see. Oh, another one. Boing. Ah! Boing. Ooh, what's over here? I didn't mean to scare oh. you. Don't be scared. Nice and spicy. Huh? Oh. The music's still going. Oh, they've seen me. Okay. What are you doing? Woo! Ah! Follow me. You play. Little man's just evaporated. have a chest though. What the fuck is that? Okay. What the Oh I can't okay. Nice and spicy. Hey, yeah. Don't be scared. Don't get it, you. <laughs> no my soul. Time to act. <laughs>
What is this? Can I like, uh... Put. Can you hit that? No? What the fuck? Why are you throwing them up there? Oh, maybe. And hit it with this. There's another one over there. That does not do anything. Okay. Hmm. Let me take a step back. What do I do then? Why do I- I want the chest! Don't be scared! It still keeps just hitting right above that. Okay. What do I do with this, though? Is there anything over here? There's another one over there. Uh, but that's just the item thingy. Oh, I don't know. Huh. It's getting to be daytime now. How do I... Is there any way to... Uh, I forgot how to... Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, it's seven. God, that's really loud. God damn. Okay. Let's uh let's go up. I think those are Tynar. Am I correct? Is that Tynar? Uh, here he is. That's interesting. Oh yep. Cool. Hmm. Maybe that's too far away. Um... What time is it now? Maybe, okay. It'll show up in a little bit and then I'll go there. Let's pick some flowers. Wow. <gasps> Way off. Okay. <gasps> oh, there he is. Hello. Ah, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where- I came to check on Kale's Oops. condition. To put it simply, she's not well. You mean she's sick? How could she be- Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? What did Paimon do? I don't remember. No, no need to worry. Something as small Jeez. as you could never harm her. 
Oh. <laughs> this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? <clears throat> Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Okay, uh, where, where to? Oh, oh, lower. Whoa. Oh, well there. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized you were that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. <sighs> but she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease oh. unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. Ow. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on affected areas of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying! Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their oh, members no. lied and said they had a cure. Mm. What? The Fatui? Ah, exactly. it appears you already are familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, uh, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Yeah. Hmm. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led her to break down this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gandarvaville. 
She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long distance patrols are a little too much for her now. All right, now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering, like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No problemo! Got it. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as the Nilot Pala Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Let's go. Hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Nilot Pala Lotuses can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gandarvaville. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. The Nilotpala lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Wait. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. I think I've been collecting The those. large petals are actually the plant's uh... leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You uh... should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Calpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, and is completely contrary to its name. Oh! Higher. Huh. Um... Okay, Higher. <laughs> no to buy mine. Never bring up the topic of flowers with Tainari. What? I thought it's interesting. I love talking about flowers. And random other shit. Oh, wait, no, it's lower. Where the fuck is it? Where is it? Is it right here? It says lower. Higher? Oh, it's right here. God damn it. Hmm. There should be Nilot Pala Lotuses growing somewhere in this area. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Yeah, I think I've just been randomly collecting your cure. Yep. Oop, wrong button. Okay. I could remember to check those okay. more often. We've gathered enough new Apollo lotuses. Let's head back to meet Tainari. Oh yeah, I'm sure I have enough. Hey Tainari, we found the lotuses you requested. Let me have a look. Hmm, good. Very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Oh, Tainari! Jeez, where'd you guys come from? Your name. They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? Hmm, what are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Uh oh. Could be trouble. <laughs> Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? The withering zone. But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. 
so we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. Wait, Kainari, why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Oh, we're good. We have, like, all of them. Collected them yes, like Pokemon. Yes, is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. We good. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it. Like, only someone with Oops. a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. We're a conductor. Seems the rumors about you were true then. In that case, all right. You two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gandarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. Okay. Body and mind. Oops. God damn it, I keep hitting G. Okay, there's nothing to collect. Come here. Where is it? Oh. Stop. Don't move any further. It's turning gray. Look there. In the distance. Huh? Where? Ooh. Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. Me neither. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't okay. push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at like any point it up. becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. Don't worry, I'll try not to die you immediately. Ready then? Let's go. I can't promise anything though, I'm really not good at it. Onward. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Uh, will this help? These things? <laughs> that didn't really do anything. Oh. Well, I collected something. Time to act! The music scares me. Body and mind. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's what I do. I don't want to talk to you little guys right now, okay? I guess it doesn't affect them. They don't seem to be too affected. They still just chillin'. However, they're not trying to attack me, so... I mean, they are, but they're not, like, actively coming for me. Ah, oh, nope. Wrong thing. God damn it. Great work. Okay. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. I'm gonna come back and get... Yeah, because that helps me. Oh, that's this thing. Oh! I don't mean to 
be hitting at? They're not what I'm trying to hit. Or maybe I can't hit it until I finish them off. I don't know. Ring cut up. Okay. Try getting them. I did have to do that first. Okay. It's like, hit it. Oh. <laughs> or I can just do that. Woo! We did it! Told you we Everything could do it. Everything is returning to normal now! Yes. Thanks to you two, we were oh, able to I quickly restore this area theme, back to though. normal. We did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's yeah. that obvious, huh? <sighs> All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which withering zones appear has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem no. itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those trees plants. trees kind of look like they have pumpkins on them. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? But why- I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. Oh, oh by the way, have you heard of Ermansoul before? Not that I Ermansoul remember. Ermansoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. Huh. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the yeah. roots of Ermansoul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Ley lines continually oh, absorb that. the memories of this world, I remember which that. are then funneled into Ermin Soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin Soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devada's familiars a long time ago, but even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermansoul. <sighs> I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time, until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Kandarvaville. Okay. Where am I? Oh, wait, I can just. V. Oh, it's all the way over there. Yeah, yeah, let's. 
go up here. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? Easy the withering peasy. zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh? Wait, is that? Why? Oh no, Papasia. Huh? What the bird do? Is it a messenger birdie? What's wrong, Tainari? Are they not supposed to be this here? This dusk bird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. Oh. Uh, you do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh... All Paimon sees are three squiggly lines! <sighs> yes. Uh, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gandarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait. Is it cursive? Can we not understand cursive? Because well, I can't. Obviously, it's because like squiggly this has happened lines. before. Last oh. time she drew five lines, and by the time we found her, well, I prefer not to remember that. Oh. Needless to say, hapasia has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait. You want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell oh, and dear. see. So? Drugs. How do you feel? Uh... Huh? Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But, wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone. I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw when you were unconscious? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tevat. My forefathers were shown much favor by Greater Lord Ruka Devada. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was a part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermin's soul. Did we see, like, What the you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin's soul itself. Huh. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneal are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment. Who's the random guy in the background? Hello, sir. Oh, we're just waiting. Hi. Oh, okay. 
I want to hold the bird. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hapasia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her, and she'll answer any questions you may have. <laughs> no, I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Anyway, please take good care of Hapasia. I'll go prepare Kale's medicine now. Using the Nilot Palo Lotuses while they are still fresh will significantly boost their effectiveness. Rest Ooh. assured, Kale will recover quickly as long as she has her medicine. I like his shoes. I'd love to have those are, they just look cool. I wonder if anybody's made those. Okay. She is way over there. Ooh, I'll just come here. Run around. Uh, where? Okay. Oh, God, the bird scared me. Hapatia should uh, still be in the cave. Let's go inside and the... see how she's doing. Oh, no, doing. it's right here. Okay. Knock, knock. Hello? Hello? Hapatia? Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Is she like hiding? Did she just pass out? Hola. Oh, well, she's got some food. What the hell? Uh... Ether? <laughs> ah! Why are we blurry? What is that? Why is there a walking radish? Why are we loading now? Did it just ascend? There you are. Are we high? Hi, Pasha. Get right? us high. Uh, uh, so hungry. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside oh God. all of a sudden? They are high. Well, I mean, what the fuck? Hey, yo, that wasn't there before. Huh? How'd things out here end up looking like this? Oh, God damn it. Hainari, I think she's a different incense. Maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. Oh god. You uh you just stay laying there. Uh what the hell? Whoa. Yeah, we are just like actually tripping. What the? Wow. Those are new. This place is huge. I'm on well, I mean, something off about that cave. At the same. Uh, let's think of that one go. Get over there and have a closer look. Look at them Who go. Knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Little man zooming and and spinning. Oh, it's spinning. I mean, at the same time, though, I don't think we're hallucinating because we're both seeing this. Don't be scared! 
Oh, it doesn't look like they gave me anything. Nothing. Nothing. What? Whoa. Wait, why is it giving me this now? Haven't I been using these? Oh, god damn it. Eee. What's this? I can't get in here, can I? Oh, but he can! Go, little guy. Alright. Okay, so we're trying to jump up there. This doesn't go that high. Yeah, that didn't really... Oh, there's one right here. I can't climb it. Okay, maybe we're supposed to jump from this one to that one. jump from this. Oh, okay. So we pulled out our glider too early, and then from this to up there? Oh, or I can just do that. This works too! Oh, there's like a dream catcher, kind of. Or maybe just a sign. Ooh, glowy flowers. Oh, what the? Ooh, that's all right. Oh, jeez. What the? Huh? What happened just now? Why'd everything around us suddenly change? Dude, we're seeing through space and time. Whoa. Oh, I can't move. I can't even push V. Okay, now we're on this side. Oh. Uh, okay. So this will just stay with us, I guess. Now we gotta find a way to get up there. Oh, missed that. Uh... Hell. My cat got the zoomies. Oh, Jesus. It's going crazy. Am I about to see through time again? Wow. Hang on. What is that? Ooh, flowers. Shapes and colors. Ah, uh, I'm seeing enemies now. Okay. Oh, 
I'm about to pass out over here. No, my sword. Stay put. None of them are dropping anything. Oh, whoa, big flowers. Big flowers, uh, through the magic portal. Wow, we're a fairy now. Man, this is great. Wow, that's big. Where are we going? We need to go down, though. What is happening? Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to go in that. Oh, no, okay. Okay. What does this do? Nothing? Okay. Oh, maybe we can... No, okay, wow. Oh, it's hurting us. Okay, I was just trying to have some fun. Oh wait, how do I get up there? Here's the last one. Click to G again. Yoink. Uh, it's up. going through time. Our shoes are missing. Okay, we're good. We have shoes again. <laughs> Back in Yazuma. What is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. <gasps> hey, what's the matter? You don't oh, look so Oh, this is good. where we do that one fight. Yeah, that looked hella trippy. If that happened to me, I'd probably be throwing up. trying. Why wouldn't it stay on? Oh, well, that's not really actually doing anything. Can I... Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to go over there. Yeah. Come through here? No. Oh, I can't break anything. Damn it. That's just no fun. Over here? I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this, but... It's not doing anything. What do I do? me go over. Um... What do I do? See, so I should be able to go in there. But how do I open it? Something I'm supposed to find? How do I get through here?
Oh god, I might need to look it up. Oh, I didn't mean to push that. Okay. Hang on. Oh, cool. Okay. Um... What am I doing right now? Okay, that one didn't really help. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I think I get it now. Jesus, I would never figure that out. You gotta stand here and... Whoa! Oh, oh god, and now it's merged. Now it's like a picture. Okay, so that just happens. No, hang on real quick. I'm just gonna close out of that tab. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, what do we see? <laughs> oh, you. Well, well, well. Harold. We meet again, traveler. <laughs> ah, the Abyss Herald! What are you planning to do in this strange place? Strange place? Plotting. <laughs> you needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. Now before the Abyss! Jeez. You, Glenn! You're up! <laughs> God, I just realized it's really fucking tall. Check that thing! Yeah. Go get it, you! Witness the power of Kuwa! Rain outlines your fate! Come on now! Got a dash! Let me weave 
your breath. Mans has a really tiny waist. Bitty bitty. We have managed to avert countless crises before. Your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. Your sister. <laughs> oh. Pitiful traveler, are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Her Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! Whoa. Oh. What's gonna happen? It's loading, I guess. What's that sound? Uh. Where's Paimon? Oh, there she is. Okay. Hmm. What do we do? Oh, there she is! Quick, let's see how she's doing. Uh, what? <sighs> well. The good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Huh? Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Wait, did we hallucinate Paimon being there? Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. What? Super trippy. Oh, wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. Exactly, that's we what I thought. We can put that to good use. She's got food and it looks huge. That's the size of her head. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Not quite. Uh, oh, her, her voice went uh -huh. out. It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, uh no. Well, actually, oh, we it was a little radish thing, it wasn't was it? here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh. Really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh, is it a cabbage? Oh? So you're able to see them too? 
Okay, maybe it did look more like a cabbage. Wait, hold on a second, traveler. Oh, cabbage boy. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? You were there too. No, it was weird. I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. Oh, so, so that's Hapisha, what happened. Just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. Just grooving. <laughs> oh. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. First food. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry, too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hapasia. There are we can make that. after all. Mmm, sounds good. They are? I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> Oh, okay. All done! Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing! And the box is a nice touch, too! Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia! Are you already finished cooking? Smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin's soul? The ingredients used to make spirit borneo primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. 
These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermensoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload, hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Borneal would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spirit Born Ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew, well that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermasol at will. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the well, stars and the their connections again. to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies, which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, you want and some touching food, such buddy? knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's Spine. mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm, while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa, so knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Don't you ever feel afraid of the risk, Capasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better freaky. as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Oh. Huh. Huh. Is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, That's however, odd. never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. Sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, <laughs> I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the...
the things he saw when he connected with Ermensoul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermensoul itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. Uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> Hapasia is all right, and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gondarvaville. Okay, bye. Uh, let's just walk there. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kajay clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Oh. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravitat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Hmm. Huh. Well, I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort. And now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And, uh, how long will I be required to stay? Um, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that, despite coming all the way here to Gandarvaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master. If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. Don't mind me, just come uh, past. Tainari, what was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the Academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a the project, but I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip, but the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? 
Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and uh, most of my acquaintances are researchers. Oh, how about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Some say that this item is the very basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise, so I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! That's right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go! Farewell, and good luck to you both. No, we're Kale leaving. is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gandharvaville. You should be able to find her there. It seems there's a major project underway at the Academia, and my master has also joined the effort. But I can't afford to leave Gandharvaville now. Things are not going well here in the rainforest, oh, and God, Kali dark. needs someone to watch over her. Given that my master hasn't come to give me an earful personally, it seems that my presence is not as sorely needed as they make it out to be. In fact, the letter he sent me was uncharacteristically polite. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gandharvaville. You should be able to find her there. Don't you worry about Kale. I'll look after her. I'll find a way to understand the relationship between the withering and her disease. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gandharvaville. <laughs> okay. You should be able to find her there. Farewell, Bye. traveler. Bye. Oh, there's something here. Did I just see it? Oh, sh- <laughs> Oh, God. It's not down, is it? Oh, it's like I just heard whispering. Where is it? Here. That's not it. Behind us. Where is it? Is it up there, maybe? Oh, uh, how do I get up there? Okay. There it is. Eggs. God damn it. Too far over. Don't fall, don't fall. Don't fall. <gasps> Fuck! I said don't fall! <laughs> Why can't I listen to myself? Okay. 
That's not red. Oh, I can sit. It said sit somewhere. Sweet view. Whoa. Wow. That's cool. Man. She matches the green. That's cool. Huh. Oh, look at that over there. Get up here. Yes. Oh, I don't like slipping around. Slipping and sliding. Nope. No, oh, thank you. Kale! Kale and random dog. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for peanut pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale! Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like! I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember Pita your time pockets. here at Gandarvaville. Delicious. Well then, I, trainee forest ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gandarvaville again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. <laughs> kind of hard to believe that Master Tainari can cook, isn't it? His culinary techniques are very polished, but his taste is a little... uh... unusual? It's not really his fault, though. He just has a sensitive tongue and nose, so he prefers much lighter flavors. The last time I went a little too heavy on the spices for my pita pockets, Master started having a sneezing fit. Of course, I never heard the end of it after that. <laughs> I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. I'm much better now. I'll be back on patrol again starting tomorrow. Even though I'm not quite ready to help Master clear the withering zones yet, there are still plenty of other tasks for me to handle. Oh, and Traveler, if you ever see Amber again during your travels, Please don't mention my illness to her, okay? Amber knows about my case of Elazar and what's happened in my past. But I haven't told her about my condition getting worse. I guess I just don't want her to worry about me. If the need arises, I'll tell her about it myself. All right, we understand, Kale. I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City. See you later. Be sure to come back All often. Right. Even though Master didn't admit it, I'm sure he wants to see you again. Aww. How many? Not enough. Wait, which way are we going? Okay. Oh, we can kind of just, you know, just just cheat a little. Just cheat a little. I don't want to go there quite yet. Oh, well, I guess it's something I have to go past anyways. Sumeru City! Ah, we 
Wow. Finally made it. Oh, did you see that? When those people entered the city, something on their heads lit up. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved Greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy, a treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Oh, I that's should mention cool. that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Ormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leash. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty god bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, since this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. <clears throat> May the mighty god bless us with their voice of wisdom. <gasps> Whoa, just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and BAM! You get it! Oh. Exactly. That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm... <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm, seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Hyman doesn't sense anything. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it. Ugh. Paimon's brain is exhausted. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? Okay. Or something. Or it just won't give an answer, period. Why did it just turn around? Hmm. It's like, you nope. Well, glad it's not just Paimon. <sighs> well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. 
He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the Academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. Let's see. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. I want to look around. Let's head over and have a look. Hopefully he's at home. Would this be stealing? I, I don't know where the other one went. Oh my me. I think I'm gonna overshoot this month's budget. Don't mind me. I'm not stealing. Nope. There's food over here. Are you the food? You're not the food. Is it in here? Yes. Tavern. Hello, what can I eat? New recipes! I'm taking them all. Hand them over. It's funny how they'll just hand over their recipes to you. In real life, that would not be a thing. I'm getting stuff I don't have. Oh, only two. It's like it's foggy in here. Incense. Uh, is this the door? Where's the door? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Look at that. The Adventurer's Guild. Hello again. Okay. I wonder if the blacksmith has anything now. That'd be cool. Oh! Cards! You can play cards now. No. Okay. I can't steal something though. A floating bow. Sweet. How do you have? Oh. Okay, cool. Keeps happening, just don't mind me. I'm not on your counter. Oh, I can challenge them. Yeah. Uh, what is. Did I miss that? Where is this? In here? Oh. 
Cafe. Wow. Oops, sorry. Hola. <gasps> More. We get coffee! Oh, this is great. I can officially make coffee now. Mmm. Okay. Was up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. Ooh, I can make one of these. Sweet. Gotta get a bunch of those. Okay, I think that was it. even further up. There's another one. Whoa, that looks cool. Okay. Up here. Ooh, what is this? Okay. Make my escape. Oh, 
Oh no, there's still that. Oh, but I think I'm tired. It's when I am. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsies. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that's where I'm gonna end it. Bye.